Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with uh, LiveWire file uploads. If you go to the LiveWire website, the documentation you have here, the file uploads, and you, you, we have some examples here how to upload a file with LiveWire, and for that I have created a fresh Laravel application. I have installed a LiveWire, and I have added the Tailwind CSS with CDN. For that, I'm going to create a live wire component and call it file upload. Now, for now, and now inside the views, we have the file upload, and this I'm going to add here live wire and we go file upload close it save and we don't need this anymore and inside the here I'm going to add the class and the file Okay, now if I go to the documentation, we have this use with file uploads and we make a property for the photo and here we make a function to save, a method to save the photo. I'm going to just to copy this and go here and Pass it here. Uh, we need to import this class. Save and for the form. Okay. If I save now, go here. Refresh. Yeah. Now the button is. Uh, not styled, I just going to style it a bit class of uh, BG blue 300 and padding 2 and rounded large save refresh. Okay, after we done that. Yeah, I think we are done. So if I go here inside the storage uh, public, we don't have anything, but I refresh a page, choose file here. I have downloaded some random files, images, and click open. Okay, save photo. Now, inside the storage app, we have a live wire temporary we store the photo here and after we store it here so we upload the image to the photos if I change this to images for example save go here refresh choose file next and hit save okay now inside the images inside the storages app we have the images folder and we store it here and you see here in the level temporary file uh, folder we have two so this is uh, to handle the photo so when if I refresh when we choose a file a photo and for example I'm going to choose this one so inside, uh, I'm going to delete this. Okay. So inside the temporary, they were temporary. Directly, we don't have anything. But 
if I choose now this one okay if I go here now we have this okay the and save yeah we save to images yeah we have two okay now when we store we can store to to the s3 buckets if we have configured we can store to store us if you follow the laravel video we have created you can make store us and give it the name for example i'm going to do now just copy and remove this with this save now i'm going to store the file inside the photos and delete for now so inside the storage app directory we don't have a photo so i'm going to going to create photos and store on file with avatar name uh, if i go here and refresh okay choose file save now if i go here we have the photos and we have the avatar the file is not displayed in that because it is binary oh yeah because we don't just give it the avatar PNG, save, refresh again, open, save, okay now inside the photos we have the avatar PNG, good, uh, I'm going to leave it here, and one more thing we can and multiple images first we need to make a, the property an array of photos and make it array and the second we need to add the photos and the star for all the photos the next one to store photo we need to make a for each loop for each photos and store the single photo so we need to make it for each photos as photo good and now inside the form we need to add the photos and multiple okay and here in there we need here to add the photos and add the multiple here okay inside here we need to add the photos and save and I think we are done if I go now here I refresh and choose one two photos open save if I go now to the storage uh, images yeah we have here so if I clear here, I delete this and make a refresh again, choose file, uh, I'm going to choose this one, open, save, inside now we have images and we have two files. Okay, real time validation, you can make it with the real time validation if you have a photo 
an update photo. We can make a temporary preview URL. So yeah, we have this, but if we have a photo, we can display before we upload. For that is the this uh, temporary library temporary uh, directory. So if I copy this and go now to the over here. And class of flex or window full flex here, and this part is here, and another one. And uh, I want to put it here, yeah. And if I go, uh, I refresh here. Oh, yeah, we don't have photo, but photos. Because we have a an array of photos, and we need to make a for each here. As Photo and the for each. I'm going to save and if I go refresh again, if I choose a file here, okay, this one open and uh, <laughs> is gigantic. I want to give a class here. Uh, with and tape and save refresh again choose file okay this one and this one yeah we have this nice display before we upload the file and if I refresh and choose to yeah, we have display all the files. I'm going to add some padding to and around it large. And I'm going to add the class here. This class BG blue. Hundred and that large and uh, okay, save refresh. Open, yeah. I'm going to give it a flex a refresh again. Okay, 
now it's a little bit more beautiful and we can save it and we are here so if I uh, delete this one no, and delete this one and this one we don't have anything go here refresh choose file we have two files here if I go here now we have this live wire directory if I say go here we have the images and we have two images okay and I think we are done now with the uh, live wire image uploading uh, you can display the indicators here loading state if I copy this and uh, just here save it and we have photos now refresh choose files you see the I'm going to make a network slow so slow 3g to, to see the loading state so if I open this we are uploading here okay we see that the uploading until we have uh, inside here the images and pending 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 yeah file uploads now we display the photos here i make it slow 3g so far <laughs> okay and i think we are done here we you is can uh, make greater with the uh, alpine js and show this the java javascript Milua. i think we are okay for this video because it's going to be a little long so with only this public property here and this function method we validate the file and store the file to this directory and that's it very nice from the live wire i think uh, images is is going to work is going to have in all our application if you like please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video thank you very much